All right, Jeffy. Yeah. Times are changing. They are. <laughs> yeah, we had those temperatures uh, feeling like the 20s this morning, but uh, we're going to get a little bit warmer for the mornings uh, next couple of days and eventually some chances of rain coming back into the mix. So let's take you into that microclimate forecast and we'll show you why we were so cold this morning. We had that uh, again, wind chill making it feel like the 20s. It was all about this area of high pressure circulation around that pushing down this cold blast here through the Bay Area, but we're beginning to see just a subtle change. That's it. Just a little move in this off towards the east, that area of high pressure, and that's going to take some of the cold air with it. Also some clouds coming in tomorrow and eventually there you go. Storm track taking a dip and that's eventually going to bring us the possibility here of some rainfall. So we'll move it into tomorrow morning's forecast and here's the cloud cover we'll start with. It's more of this high cloud cover. Then through the day tomorrow, it's actually going to go partly sunny to mostly cloudy at times uh, with some sun breaks moving on in. So that cloud cover is going to act like a blanket and that's why it's not expected to get down into the 20s tomorrow. Now it's still going to be chilly. You need the jacket, uh, but we're kind of out of that uh, critical zone here. 37 in the South Bay, 39 in the Peninsula, Tri-Valley at 34. Also plenty of 30s over the East Bay and the North Bay, San Francisco, also a bit warmer and coming in at 41 daytime highs through tomorrow. They're going to stay pretty much the same. No big changes in this right across the South Bay. Have it at 62 in Cupertino, 63 in Morgan Hill. Let's move it over to the East Bay up to Vallejo 58, Pleasanton 59, the peninsula 59 here in Redwood City up to San Francisco. I have 54 in the Marina and 58 in the Mission and for the North Bay 59 in Santa Rosa 57 in Mill Valley dry through tomorrow, dry through Thursday. The way things look now and then once we roll into Friday, that's going to be our next chance of rainfall. So let's go ahead and break this apart for you. And you can see again by Thursday night storm system is offshore. Then this moves in by Friday morning with spotty chances through the day. Totals on this one, not extremely high, uh, just trace amounts uh, to about a half inch. Better bet of a quarter to half inch over the Santa Cruz Mountains, including Los Gatos. Also parts of the East Bay higher elevations and through the North Bay. Now the second system looks like it's going to get here by Saturday afternoon. So this one's speeding up a bit. So do expect a chance of rain Saturday afternoon. Also continuing into Sunday and that Sierra snow. This one now looks like it could bring us some higher totals anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch. We may actually get the better bet of some higher totals from San Francisco uh, down on towards San Jose. Not only that, but the snow in the Sierra, especially this weekend going up close to two feet here in Twin Bridges, 23 inches, uh, Kingville 21. So on that seven day forecast, here it is again, dry Wednesday and Thursday rain chance on Friday afternoon chance Saturday lingering into Sunday and then we dried out next Monday and also Tuesday. So nothing compared to those storms we had earlier this month, but we will continue to take every single bit uh, that we can get. Actually, this works out so much better if we can just have like these moments where we get a little bit of rain continued yep. rather because it comes with you know, the harm that we don't see when we have those atmospheric that, rivers. That, I would love to see that couple storms. Just a, week. a little continued. Yes. Yep. All right. Thank you. Sure.